In our chapter from 2 Chronicles, chapter 13 today, the conflict between Judah and the northern kingdom continues. King Jeroboam and King Abijah, the new Judean king, have these huge armies facing each other in Ephraim, though, to be honest, the northerners outnumber the Judeans by two to one. And in the middle of the build-up to this battle, Abijah goes up on top of a mountain and starts to taunt his enemies, and he talks about how people... Anyone in Israel could be ordained as a priest, which is a funny thing to taunt your enemy with, but in the context of Chronicles, the Chronicles, which is about the worship life of Judah, it makes sense. And it got me thinking about those people who go online to get ordained, how anybody can get ordained online. And there are many websites that will ordain people. And it's a primarily a thing in the States so that people can legally marry others but it's a problem it is an issue and the problem I have or the issue that I have is that if anyone could can get ordained what does it mean for those who are ordained through the laying on of hands which is traditionally how people are ordained and if anybody can get ordained, what does that mean for those who are part of God's kingdom, who are part of the priesthood of all believers? Now, for most people in the church, probably not a jot. Most Christians understand that some people are called to leadership and that ordination is a recognition of their leadership abilities. But what does it mean for us as the people of God to be the priesthood of all believers? Because we're all priests, and as such a way, we're all ordained into the priesthood of all believers. And the priest, the priest did two things in the Old Testament. They offered sacrifices to God, and they interceded on behalf of the people. Now we, as the priesthood of all believers, do the same thing. We offer ourselves each day. You know, Paul says that in Romans 12. But we're to offer our lives as a sacrifice. And we encourage to pray for the people that we know. And so, like the priests, we represent God to the people. And we resent, represent, not resent, represent the people to God. And so, from that extent, we are priests. We don't need to be ordained to serve God. We are already ordained by the coming of the Holy Spirit into our lives. And so, through that... We can serve God alongside our great high priest, our Lord Jesus. And that, my friends, is amazing. Amen.